Welcome to this YouTube channel. We are Bible Way Temple International, an apostolic church situated in the Mova Lavantil community, located in the beautiful Twin Island Republic state of Trinidad and Tobago. Our mandate is to touch and transform lives by being good stewards, sharing the message of Jesus Christ. And today, it is a pleasure to share this message with you. We invite you to praise and worship with us as we proclaim that Jesus Christ is Lord over our lives. That you are before that throne of God this morning. You know, the, 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 that chapter, and I want you to take some time and read it and study that Revelation chapter 4. The one on the throne had gems all over him. Lightning and thunder flashed. Fire was at the front of the throne. And there were four animals moving around and they were saying, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. But before the animals were 24 elders, and that, that chapter describes these 24 elders in their robes and with their crowns on their heads. And every time these animals said, holy, 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 the elders took off their crowns and bowed before the throne room of God. And what does that say to me and to you? It means we need to humble ourselves as we come to worship God. You know, Sister Sam shared something with me yesterday, a video. And it talks about the camel going through the eye of a needle. And when we look at the needle, we think it's a little needle that you sew it. But in ancient times, it was a door with a, a big door with a small door. And it's not that the camel can't pass through. But the camel need to take off certain things and bow his head in order to go through the door. So we need to come before God's throne every time, not just this morning, in your personal worship time. If you come in before God, you need to humble yourself in adoration before his throne. When you are coming before God, take off everything, every weight, everything that you feel will hold you back that makes you inadequate to worship God and just bow in his presence. The word says these elders fell prostrate and it means they were on the ground before God. And yes, we know we're in church and we're looking nice, but if it is in your heart, you're feeling to get down on the ground and just be falling before God, feel free to do it because this is what worship is all about. And this morning we are calling on our Yahweh. Yahweh is Lord. Did they move the Yahweh? And put Lord and I am because in back then you couldn't say Yahweh, it couldn't be uttered, it couldn't be spoken. But we could call on Yahweh this morning. Yahweh is self exist we, He don't need us to do what he has to do, you know. He wants us, but he doesn't need us. He can do what he has to do on his own because he is self-existent. He is relational. He wants to be in communication and in love and just tied with his children. He is with us right here, right now. God is with us. Even in your home, God is there. And he is an unchanging God. He never fails. He never changes. He remains the same because he is holy. And that is why these beings shouted, holy, holy, holy to the Lord God Almighty. That is why they said, worthy is the Lord. Take all the glory and all the honor because when we come to worship, it's not for our feelings, but it is to give God all the glory and all the honor. So as we call on our Yahweh this morning, I want you to see, don't see me, see your king and your creator. The last verse of that chapter said, everything you created is because of you. Everything that you are going through or that you have is because of Yahweh. Because that's your God, that's your Jesus, that's your daddy, that's your Abba. 
So I want you to lift your hands. If you feel to bow, bow in his presence because he is Yahweh. He is Yahweh. He is Yahweh. He is Yahweh. God, we worship you because you are Yahweh. 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 The first and the last, you are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. Oh, let's sing that one more time. You are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. That is our God, Yahweh. You are Yahweh. See him before you as you call on him this morning in all his glory and all his Let's worship our Yahweh this morning. Let us call our Yahweh. Let us call on Yahweh. He is King. He is Lord. He is I am that I am. He is everything that we need. He is Yahweh. You are Yahweh. Oh, you are Yahweh. Hallelujah. I love you, Lord, for your mercy never fails me. All my days I've been held in your hands from the moment that I wake, from the moment that I wake, until I lay my head, until I lay. We gotta sing of the goodness of God. Oh, let's say that one more time. Let's proclaim, I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. For your mercies, for your mercy never fail. All my days, we've been held in the hands of the Lord. From the moment that we wake up until we live. Of the goodness of God. Oh, cause all my life, all my life, you have been faithful, faithful to me all my Tell me all my life. 
I love your voice. I love your voice. You have led me through the fire. You have led me through the fire. In darkest times. In dark. You are close like no other. I've known you as a father. And I've known you as a friend. Oh, I will sing of the goodness of God. I love your voice. I love your voice. He has led us through the fire. In your darkest times, he is close like no other. Oh, you are close like no I've known you as a father. I've known you as a friend. Chasing you down, his goodness. Oh, I give you everything. Your goodness is running out, it's running out to me. Your goodness, your goodness is running out, it's running out to me. Your goodness, your goodness is running out, it's running out with my life laid down, with my life laid down. I give you everything. Your goodness is running out. Hallelujah. It's running oh, out to me. Because all my life, all my life you have been faithful. Has he's been faithful to you all of your life? And all my life you have been so, so oh, Each and every single day we see the faithfulness of God his hand upon our life and we need to sing we need to sing Let's put our hands together for the goodness of God this morning. He is faithful. He is faithful. He is faithful. Come on, we could do better than that. Has God been good to you? Has he been good? Has he been good? Has he been good? Has he been faithful? Has he been miraculous? Has he been awesome? Has he been merciful to you? You are so faithful, God. You are so faithful. You are so faithful. You are so faithful. Oh, God, we want. 
worship you because of how faithful you are towards us. Oh God, you are never changing. You are never failing. God, you are faithful. You are miraculous. You are worthy. God, we bow in your presence because of your faithfulness towards us. Yesterday, today and forevermore What you say is what you do Oh Jesus, you never fail, you never change You are faithful, you are faithful God That's why I worship you Oh, I worship you You are too faithful to disappoint me. You are too faithful to disappoint me, God. You have proven yourself. You've proven yourself in my life. And I've come to realize you're too faithful to fail me. You know, many times because we don't see what we want to see. We think that God is not faithful. But we can take, I want you to take a moment right now and look back at your life. Where you were maybe last week and where you are today. And we know that we can see the faithfulness of God in our life. Because how we were is how not we are. How we were before is not how we are now. And it is because of God's faithfulness. How we were a year or two ago is not how we are now. And it is because of his faithfulness. Because God is who he says he is. He doesn't fail. He doesn't change. He doesn't waver. He's an unchanging God. And we need to be more grateful for his faithfulness toward us. Jesus. God, we repent before your throne this morning. We repent before your throne for being ungrateful beings, knowing and seeing who you are to us and still not acknowledging your miraculous work in our life, still not acknowledging your faithfulness. God, we repent, we repent. God, we repent. God, forgive us, forgive us, forgive us. Because we know you are faithful and we still put it aside that you've left us. We still have in our mind that you've abandoned us when you are right there carrying us through and walking with us, Jesus. Because you are who you are, you are who you are, God. You are who you are yesterday. Today and forevermore What you say is what you do You never change, you never fail You never change You, ne you are faithful till the end You are faithful till the end Faithful God I worship you I worship you Fail me. You're too faithful to disappoint me. Oh God, you have proven yourself in my life. You've proven yourself in my life. And I've come to realize you're too faithful to fail me. You're too faithful to fail me. You're too faithful to fail me. You are too faithful to disappoint me. God has proven himself time and time again in our life. You've proven yourself in my life. And I've come to realize you're too faithful to fail me. You're too loving to leave me. You're too loving to leave me. He's too loving.
loving to leave you halfway. You're too. He's a God of completion. He will finish that work that he started. Oh, what you start, you always finish. Lord, I've come to realize you're too loving to leave me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, let's shout, thank you, Jesus. Shout, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank God for his faithfulness, amen. Thank God for his faithfulness. In Jesus' name. Somebody say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. It's indeed a privilege to be in the house of the Lord this morning. Respect to the Spirit of God. Amen. Our apostle, our bishop in his absence. Amen. Mother Paul, all you wonderful ministers and, 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 and elders and deaconess. And we greet you in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ, our soon coming King. Amen. You may have your seats. Hallelujah. We'll pick up the offering at the end. Is that all right? So hold your offering in your hands. Amen. When I'm true, amen, we're going to pick up the offering. Is that all right? Amen. Hallelujah. Thank God this morning. Amen. The lot has fallen on me this morning. <laughs> it's a privilege to be in the house of God. Hallelujah. To worship and to magnify his name. Amen. And even to hear from him. Are you ready to hear from God this morning? Are you ready to hear from God what he has to say to you? Amen. Hallelujah. Is your heart open to receive from him this morning? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. We thank God this morning. Thank him for who he is. Amen. I'm going to go right into the word. Amen. Praise God. It's a word that you know, God has I probably shared it already. But it came strongly on me, you know, during my time of, of, of <laughs> while I was building the house, amen. Praise God. God just remind me that he is in control, amen. And in spite of our situation, in spite of where we are, in spite of what the devil is trying to place on us, and, and, and it's trying to, to, to cause us to, how to feel, hallelujah, God is in control. And as long as we allow him to take the lead and as long as we allow him to, to direct us, we will be victorious, amen. I said we will be victorious, amen. I said we will be victorious if we only allow Jesus to take over, if we only allow him to take the lead, amen. Brethren, we will be victorious, amen. So I thank God, amen, that I could share this word with you this morning. Praise God, hallelujah. Glory be to God, glory be to Jesus. And the scripture is taken from, hallelujah, the book of James, amen. The book of James, the first chapter, amen. Praise the name of Jesus. The, the air condition blowing my, my, my pages, amen. Could somebody just make adjustments, please? Praise God. Hallelujah. <clears throat> All found, amen? The book of James, amen. Hallelujah. And it says, James, a servant of God, and the Lord Jesus Christ, to the twelve tribes, which was scattered abroad. Greetings, amen. The children of Israel, they were scattered, amen. They were all over, amen. And James, he, the Bible said he wrote some, a letter, amen, to them. Realizing a situation that was going on. They were being discouraged. They were getting weary, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because of the pressures of life, 
because that, of things that were happening among them. Amen. Hallelujah. And he, the Bible said that James, he was an elder. He was considered as, as the pillar, one of the pillars of the church. Amen. Hallelujah. And Nazarite, glory be to God. And he thought it fit to write to the churches, amen, because he saw what was taking place with them, amen. And he goes on to say, my brethren, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptation. Because he was seeing them going through a rough time. They were being tempted. They were being discouraged. Things were happening around them. Discouragement all around. Amen. Probably a time like this. COVID. So many people lost their jobs. Hallelujah. So many people lost a family member. Hallelujah. Even though, hallelujah, we kind of going back to normal. Some people still in a kind of state because of the pressure that they went through. Some people, I heard some people had to close down their businesses because of, of what they went through. But the word of God is telling us this morning. Huh? Count it all joy. In other words, <laughs> Minister Dex say, no matter what, be happy. In other words, be excited. Be joyous. <laughs> when you fall into diverse temptation, when you're going through your pressure, when your back is against the wall, be happy. Huh? Knowing this, that the trying of your faith will get patience. God is testing us. Huh. The trying of our faith, the things that we go through, sometimes we feel real hurt, real pain, real discouragement. The trying of your faith, it brings patience. It's to, as the word of God said, to complete you for something greater, to make you a better person. How many of us could say we went through a time of turmoil through this COVID period? Hmm? How many of us could say that we are, we are stronger? How many of us could say we are closer to Jesus, to the Lord? How many of us could say, hallelujah, because of the situation I went through, because of the hard time that I went through, my God, this caused me to, to get closer to Jesus, to seek him a little more, to read his word a little more. How many of us could say that this morning? Hallelujah. How many of us could say that this morning? Huh? Somebody say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Count it all joy. Be happy. Be excited. Huh? That might sound like craziness. Huh? Because when you're going through a situation, it's not... <laughs> you can't smile sometimes. Huh? You can't smile. Sometimes the situation causes tears to come to your eyes. Sometimes the situation causes you to say certain things that you uh, don't want to say. You're not supposed to say. Sometimes the situation causes you to go places you're not supposed to go. My God. But God has said, count it all joy because that situation is to build you. That situation is to make you strong. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It says in verse 4 here, let patience have its perfect work. So you have to let complete, be, be completed, brethren. Don't rush it. Let it be completed. Let it have its perfect work in you. Hmm? That ye may be perfect. Eh? You may be perfect when, 
when patient have its perfect work, you will come. My God, sometimes it's hard to explain. It's hard to explain. God will give you a peace. He will give you an understanding of the situation. Your faith will be restored because it caused you to get closer to Jesus. Your faith will be restored. Huh? Anybody hearing me this morning? I said your faith will be restored. You will become closer to Jesus. When you allow patience to have its perfect work, when you allow it, to, when you go to it, and not ask God, Lord, take me out of this situation. Hmm? God, I can't handle it. The Bible says he gave us just enough that we could bear. And we say we can't handle the things that God has given us that we could bear it. Just enough. The amount that he gave you, he knows that you are able to handle it. So all you have to ask him, not to take it out, but God Teach me how to handle it. Take me through it so that I may be able to be strong and to be victorious and to come out as gold. Hallelujah. Because at the end of it, brethren, we will have a testimony. Because somebody is waiting at the end, you know, to hear how you came through, you know. So if you ask God to take you out, huh? How would you be able at the end be able to encourage somebody? How would you be able at the end to, to, to say, hey, God has kept me? Huh? You would not be able because you ask him to take you out. Lord, I can't handle this. I can't deal with this. I can't deal with these people. I can't deal with this situation. Because he, we ask him to take us out. Somebody is waiting on us, brethren. Somebody is waiting to hear that testimony. Somebody is waiting to hear, you know, how God brought you through. Hallelujah. And if you give up, if you give up, my God, you caused that person to go even first, further. Hmm? Because they didn't hear you, but thank God for his mercy. Eh? He always has somebody else to encourage them. Huh? But he wanted you to do it. Huh? He would take you that, through that situation for you to be able to encourage that person. So ask him this morning, Lord, take me through. Sometimes the discouragement is so much. We really feel like as though God have left us. But I want to tell you, sometimes we have to Rejoice in that discouragement. We have to thank God for that discouragement. We have to thank God for that trial. We have to thank God for what he has taken us through. So because we know at the end is to teach us patience. Amen. Hallelujah. I kind of go all out there this morning. But I want to kind of stick to my message. Amen. Hallelujah. God wants us to have perseverance. Perseverance is doing something in spite, in spite of how difficult it might be. You're fighting. You're fighting to make it. Persevere. Don't give up. Huh? Don't give up, brethren. Sometimes we give up too easily because we, 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 we feel as though Sister Marsha, Minister Marsha, come in and talk to me. Ella Larry, come in and talk and we just give up. Sometimes we are encourage ourselves. Encourage yourself in the Lord, the word of God says. Brethren, during, during the time, I'm, you know, while I was building the house, my God, many times I had encourage myself. Because I tell you, at certain times, I, I felt as though I was going crazy. My head started hot, me. All kind of thing. And I had to go before God. And, and, and ask God, Lord, have mercy. Because why? I wasn't trusting him enough. 
And this is something we, we don't do, you know. When we realize that we fail God, we don't ask him sometimes for mercy. But listen, we have to ask God, Lord, have mercy on me. Forgive me for not trusting you. Forgive me for not depending on you. Lord, I'm sorry. And I had to go before God and say, Lord, I cry. I remember a night I cried. I said, Lord, have mercy. God, forgive me. Forgive me. And from that time, God started to turn things around. I see things happening. Amen. Hallelujah. God started to work things out in a kind of way. I and all was shocked. But I had to give him all. I had to give up. I had to release. Because sometimes we hold on to the thing too much. Because we think we, we're able to handle it. So we hold on to it. But God wants us to release it. And to continue to have perseverance. To persevere. Not just to release it and sit back. Because we like to say we have faith in God. And we rock back. The Bible says faith, even in the same book of James, faith without works is dead. So sometimes you can't, you can't sit back. You have to get up and get. You believe God to do the work? Get up and get and move. Hallelujah. And ask him for direction. Ask him to lead you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So God wants us to persevere in spite of how things might look, in spite of how things might feel, how you might feel. Persevere, brethren. Do not give up on God because his promises is yea and amen. He will not disappoint you. He will never fail you. He said he will be with you even unto the end. But if we give up, hallelujah. If we give up, we will not see the blessings of God upon us. We will not see him working, amen, his hands working in the midst of us. Hallelujah. Don't give up, amen. Persevere, brethren. Fight. Fight for what is yours this morning. Fight. Hallelujah. Patience. Patience. Amen. Patience is, in spite of the... the, the the turmoil and the, the trials you're going through. The problems and, and the sufferings. In spite of all that, God wants us not to be anxious. Not to be anxious. Huh? To have patience. You know, sometimes we see, we see we're in the situation and... and we had to make a move. We had to make a move. We, we, we hurry. We excited. Hey, I had to do this. I had to do that. Don't be anxious. The Bible said, don't be anxious for nothing. Don't be anxious for nothing. But to have patience and wait on him. Ask him for direction. Ask him for leading. God, I want you to direct me. In the midst, you know, I just remember in Sister, Sister Kim's testimony last week. In the midst of the situation... In the midst of the situation, she could have been anxious and said, well, that is it. It's gone. But she just was patient. Lord, direct and lead. And she said she had faith that God will send back the person. So, but she, she didn't sit down. She didn't sit down. She said, all right, you go so, you go so, you go so. So everybody was just waiting. She, <laughs> faith without works. She was patient. She wasn't anxious. And, but she, 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 she went forth and, 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 and searched. Believing God will, will make a way. Amen. Hallelujah. God wants us not to be anxious, brethren. But to wait on him. To seek him. Hallelujah. To, to hunger and thirst after him. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. There are some things... When we allow, you know, the patience and, 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 and to, 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 to have its perfect work in us, there are some things that will follow. Some things will follow it, amen. We allow, when we allow God's will and his patience and his, 
you know, not to be anxious, some things that will follow, amen. Hallelujah. And here, here, what is some of them, amen. God will increase your faith. He will increase your faith. And if you want to find it, Mark 11, 22 to 24, he will increase your faith. He will cause your faith to rise, amen. When you allow patience to have its perfect work in you, your faith will arise. Mark eleven twenty two to 24. He will give you a peace of mind. You will have peace, brethren. My God, he said, my peace I give unto you, not as the world give. I give unto you, amen. He said he will give you peace. If we keep our minds stayed on him, but if we cause ourselves to be anxious and to be impatient, the peace of God will not reign within us. We will make foolish mistakes. Things will happen that are not supposed to happen. We will do things that we're not supposed to do. Hallelujah. God will give us a peace of mind. Hallelujah. We will become stronger. Peace of mind, Colossians 3.15. The peace of mind, daily man, amen. We will become stronger, Isaiah 41.10. We will become stronger if we allow patience to have its perfect work within us. We will not be weak. We will not allow things to, to, to cause us to fall off the track. Hallelujah. We'll be strong. Amen. The Bible said be strong and in the power of his might. Hallelujah. When we put on and we allow that patient to have its perfect work. Amen. In us. We're talking about here this morning. The trials. Amen. Trials. When we go through trials. Amen. This is what we're talking about. You're going through trials and you're allowing even though the situation is tough and rough, you're allowing it to work through your life so that you may be able to be strong, amen. You will have faith, amen. You will have a peace of mind. And the next thing, you will have an understanding. God will give you an understanding of the situation so that you will be able to deal with it you would not be confused, brethren. You would not be confused. You would have an understanding. Hallelujah. Thank you for joining us today. Please like and share this video. If you need prayer or counseling, feel free to call us at 680-7111 or WhatsApp us at 754-4270. Someone is ready and waiting to pray and speak with you. If you desire to make a financial contribution, you can make a direct deposit to our Scotiabank checking account, Bible Way Temple, account number 1200176, transit number 90035. On behalf of the leadership of this ministry, Apostle Celestin and Mother Europol, we say thank you. And we look forward to having you fellowship with us another Sunday.